All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and preach the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hopefully elect. And uh, today's lesson, I have an article surrounding a school shooting that recently happened in uh, Oakland, California. I right, know those of us in the know, we know that, that this is the judgment of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai because we know that the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai has his hand in everything, all right, whether it be good or evil. All right. So without further ado, um, let's get into the article. It says, um, Salakia, it says multiple people fired at least 30 rounds in an Oakland, California school shooting Wednesday that left six wounded and a suspect to be gang related, police said Thursday. Says Oakland Police Chief Laron Armstrong said at a news conference that authorities feel fortunate more people were not harmed in the shooting, which he called uh, wholly unacceptable. Says we know we know that there were at least two shooters and another accomplice related to this case, but there may have been more. He said, "We also know that there were over thirty rounds fired on this campus. That is that is wholly acceptable. We thank God that many more students were not injured." Says um. And the ultimate man, we know that this is the judgment of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. All right, so ultimate man, you know, people could, you know, die to their wounds, all right, that they suffer in the school shooting. But, hey, at the end of the day, man, that's all up to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. All right, they're injured for now, all right, but the Lord may have some of those individuals slated to die due to those wounds, all right, but we don't know, all right? It's pretty much all we know is that they've been injured, but that's all they're doing at Yahweh by Shemiah Shai because we're going to get that scripture. But the Lord said, I wound and I heal, all right? It says, um, all of the shooting victims were adults, officials have said. Armstrong said there, Armstrong said two were students, also wounded were a counselor, a security guard, and two staffers. He said, <clears throat> slack you. He said, police suspect at least one person was targeted in the shooting, which was believed to be gang related. You know, also, man, you know, you know how them, them, them gangs are right, get down to high school, all right. Uh, everybody want to, you know, be be tough. Everybody want to uh, uh, rock a uh, quote unquote tote on them. Or everybody want to uh, walk with a strap on them. Things of that nature, man. You know, just anyways, it says um, three people remain hospitalized Thursday. Armstrong said two of whom were in critical but stable condition. So the shooting occurred shortly before 1 p.m. Uh, at a campus with the middle school a high school and two other schools in the city's East Mont Hills neighborhood assistant police chief Darren Allison told reporters Wednesday it says the victims had some affiliations had some affiliation with Rudsdale one of the like, yeah, Rudsdale one of the schools mayor Libby Schaff said Wednesday that the gunfire erupted at Sojourner Truth a K K through 12 independent study school also at the campus it says victims were also Victims were found inside the school, Allison said. So the shooters entered through a front entrance at Rudsdale, looking for one or more people, Armstrong said. They didn't make it far into the school before shots rang out and injured innocent bystanders, he said. So um, and also, I'm, I'm going to leave it right there in the article. Let's hop right into the scriptures because, you know, this is all, you know, according to the will of Yahweh by Shmi al Shai. All right. So this is um the book of Deuteronomy, chapter thirty-two, and uh, verse thirty-nine. It says, "See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me." All right, and who's this speaking right here? All right, this is the heavenly Father Yahweh speaking. All right, and we know that His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, "I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand." So ultimately, it's it's the Lord who has made. Those individuals, you know, suffer injuries or suffer wounds, all right? Because this is the judgment of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. Whether the Lord, whether you're dead or alive, man, that's the that's the state that the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai wants you in, all right? You know, ultimately, whether you're, whether you're whole or whether you're sick or injured or wounded or things of that sort, right? that, that's because the Lord wants you in that state, all right? It says um, it says neither is there any that could deliver out of my hand because that's why the scripture tells us that it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Because once you're in the hands of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, there's no getting out. All right. <laughs> this is um the book of Job, chapter four, verse seven. 
says, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent or where were the righteous cut off. So also, man, you know, the reason why people die. All right. Is really because, you know, you know, they were wicked in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. You see somebody, a, a random individual, you know, die in a car crash. Or you see a random individual you know, get shot. A, a random individual get stabbed to death, beat to death, things of that sort. All right. Because they 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 were not right in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. All right. It says, um, verse 8, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. So pretty much what's that tell what that's telling you is that if you do dirt, you get dirt. All right, what's the consequences for sin and iniquity? All right, let's get that. This is um the book of Romans, chapter 6, and verse 23. It says, For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. So ultimately, the wages of sin is death. So if you put in sin, heaping up iniquity, continuing in wickedness, all right, the reward for that is death. All right. Now, what does the latter part say? It says, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. All right. Ultimately, us as the hopefully elect, man, we're trying to achieve. All right, that eternal life. Are right, we trying to abstain from wickedness to the best of our ability to conform to righteousness as best as we can you know, in this flesh? Because in this flesh, we're going to go off, not to get off topic, but you know, while we're in this flesh, because this, this, this flesh is subject to wickedness. All right, so we're going to make mistakes here and there, but that's why we repent. All right, you know, uh, um, contrary to the rest of the world, because when the rest of the world does wickedness, all right, they don't even repent. All right, they just continue on in their wickedness. But, you know, the hopefully elect, when they mess up, all right, they repent to how about me outside and try to do better. All right. Yeah, we're 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 those individuals that's trying to achieve eternal life. All right. This is going to be the book of uh uh Colossians chapter three and uh, verse twenty five. It says, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. So also, man, if you're doing dirt, man, the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yashai can come upon you, you know, uh, anytime. All right, the Lord doesn't care if you're man or woman, old or young. If you're doing wickedness, are you that that is rewardable by death? All right, that's why it says uh, uh, there's no respect to persons because the Lord don't care what status you are. All right, if you're doing wickedness, you're gonna get put to death by Yahweh Bashim Yashai. All right, plain and simple. This is uh, the book of Galatians, chapter 6, and verse 7. It says, Be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And ultimately, if you sow righteousness in the earth, and what's the elect of the Lord are sowing righteousness in the earth, they're trying to do righteous works, righteous ability, or righteous uh, deeds in order to please Yahweh Bashim Yashai. What is the elect going to uh, reap from that? All right, eternal life. All right, but if you're doing wickedness, what are you going to reap from that? Death and destruction. All right. <laughs> Verse 8, it says, For he that sold to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Right, man? It says, He that sold to the flesh of the flesh shall reap corruption. Because the scriptures tell us that to be carnally minded is death. Because the, being carnally minded or uh, more so moving towards his flesh are, are living in the ways of death. Because this flesh is totally against the spirit, against righteousness. All right, like the scripture said, the way to the sin is death. So to be to be carnally minded means to be death. Right, that means uh, this flesh is tries to lean more towards sin. All right. It says, but he that sowed to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. How do you sow to the spirit? By trying to follow after the uh, law, studies, and commandments. See how about Shemia Shai to the best of your ability. Are right, you know following after his righteousness? You know, getting in his word. Are right, watching the uh, videos? You know, praying to Yahweh about Shemia Shai. Things of the sort. You know, anything that'll draw you closer into Yahweh about Shemia Shai. That's how you sow, or that's how you sow into the spirit. All right. This is um. The book of First uh, Samuel, chapter two, and verse six, it says, "The Lord killeth and maketh alive; He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up." So, also, man, this is also you know going to the balance of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, showing you that Yahweh Bashim Yashai is in control of both life and death. All right, and to further prove that, this is the book of Psalms, chapter sixty-eight. And uh, verse 20 says, he that is our power is the power of salvation 
and to unto Yahweh the Lord belong the issues from death. All right, so ultimately it's Yahweh by Shmi Ashai, or who's who's pulling everybody cards. All right, it's, it's the Lord who decides. You know uh, when um, when certain individuals are called back to the spiritual world because that's you know ultimately what happens. Or your spirit is removed from the flesh and is called back into Yahweh by Shmi Ashai. All right, now we know that throughout the scriptures. All right, the pertaining to the scriptures that you know the heavenly Father has committed all judgment unto His only begotten Son, our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, so ultimately, our Lord Yahweh Shai is the one calling all the shots. All right, you know the heavenly Father is using our Lord Yahweh Shai to call the shots, but you know all judgment has been committed unto our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, so our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, is you know sending out these judgments day in, our right, day out, I right, know uh, putting people to death for their wickedness. All right, things of that nature. All right. It says um this is going to be the book of Zephaniah chapter three and uh verse five. It says the just Lord is in the midst thereof, he will not do iniquity, meaning the Lord don't do sin. All right. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light, he faileth not. So ultimately Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is judging day in, day out. All right, ultimately we the only judgments we see are the ones reported on the news, but there is many, 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 many more judgments being carried out by Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. All right, just all of them are not reported. All right, it says, uh, but the unjust knoweth no shame because you, know, you got the the wicked individuals of this world. You know the wicked of our people. All right, you know they see you know, these certain judgments that Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is uh, uh, uh bringing to pass. All right, but what do they do? All right, they're going to continue in their wickedness. All right. They're not going to consider the judgment of Yahweh by Shemi Ashai. You know, look at those things and sit there like, you know, maybe, maybe I should get my life right. Nah, they're going to continue with their wickedness. And ultimately what they don't know is that, you know, Yahweh by Shemi Ashai is letting their iniquity come to the full so that the Lord can bring judgment upon them. All right. This is um, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 11 and verse 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. All right, once again, what's that? What is that going into? All right, that balance of Yahweh Bashim Yashai because the Lord has his hand in all things, meaning he's in control of all things. All right, whether an individual is rich or poor, or whether an individual is, is dead or alive, all right, that all goes back to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. All right, uh, let's see here. I just thought of a scripture and I lost it. Give me one. If, if it doesn't come back, we'll close off right here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yashai. All right. Now, this is the book of Amos, chapter 3 and uh, verse 6. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord has not done it? Ultimately, what's, what, what's the answer to that? All right, if there's evil in the city that was ordained by Yahweh by Shimi Al Shai. All right, that were evil going into bad times because that's that that's a bad time. All right, in in, in the city of Oakland, California, you know, people in danger due to due to other individuals, you know, firing off thirty rounds of gunshots. All right, you know they they easily could have got caught in the crossfire. All right, six six, six um to like you, six individuals had got injured. All right, but um. But, you know, a lot more individuals could have got uh, caught, caught, caught in a crossfire. All right. And we'll end it off right here in the book of uh, Isaiah. Chapter 45 and verse 7 it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So ultimately, what's that? What is that going into? Once again, the balance of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. All right. Because the Lord is in control of good as well as evil. All right, so Lord's will, this lesson was edifying to the body. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Kudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and preach the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hopefully elect. The Lord's will, I'll see you in the next lesson. Until then, Shalom.